All right, so I'm going to be doing a bunch of examples here on the unit circle and equivalent ratios. I would suggest that you watch the first couple of these and then you pause before the next ones and try them yourselves before you watch me. Now, every time I do one of these questions, everything I write down, it's not me explaining it, it's me showing you how to do it. So if I write something down, that's the sort of working you should be writing down as well. Now, before I jump into example 1A, I do want to show you something that might make this easier for you. It's called a cast diagram, C-A-S-T. Now, if you've understood everything in the previous videos, you don't really need this, but it can be very, very helpful. So, what does it say? In quadrant run, all of our ratios are going to be positive. Sine, cos, and tan, they're all going to be positive in quadrant one. In quadrant two, only sine ratios are positive. Cosine and tan ratios are going to be negative. In quadrant three, only tan ratios are going to be positive. Sine and cos are going to be negative. And in quadrant four, only cosine ratios are going to be positive. Sine and tan are going to be negative. And you'll see a lot of teachers, a lot of students use this cast diagram. And I'm going to be using this cast diagram throughout. All right, so webcam off. Let's get down to business. Here's our um, first one, tan 353 degrees. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a unit circle. Again, this is part of the process. And now I'm going to draw in this angle of 353 degrees. Starting here, 353 degrees, I go nearly all the way around the circle to about here. Okay, that is 353 degrees, all the way around to there. All right, now I need to look at this acute angle between the x-axis and the angle I found here. And I need to ask myself, what is that angle there? Now, if that's 353, this angle is going to be 360 minus 353. So I can say that tan 353 is going to be equal to tan 360 minus 353. That's finding this angle here. Right. Finally, I'm going to look at my cast rule, C-A-S-T, I see in the fourth quadrant, only cosine ratios are positive. Tan ratios, which is what this one is, is negative. So I'm going to put a negative there. And now when I'm, I'm finished, I can say negative tan, and doing this calculation, I get negative tan seven degrees. What this means is that tan 353 degrees is equal to the negative of tan seven degrees. Tan seven degrees is the drawing in the first quadrant. I'm gonna draw this next bit in blue because I'm just explaining something. This isn't part of the diagram. Negative tan seven degrees. This is the equivalent triangle in the first quadrant, which is what we were looking for. That's seven degrees, but we need that negative there because it's in the fourth quadrant, not the first quadrant. So here's my second example, sine 124. Again, I draw a picture, unit circle. Sine 124, I start here, move 124 degrees around the circle. That's about here. And this is the 124 degrees. Now, I look at the x-axis. It's always the x-axis we look at. And we look at this angle here. And that's going to be the angle that we're looking for. Some people call this the reference angle. Okay, now how do I find that? Well, if this is 124, this is going to be 180 minus 124. So, sine 124 is equal to sine 180 minus 124. Now, C, A, S, T. We're in the second quadrant, and only sine ratios are positive in the second quadrant. We're in the second quadrant. This is a sine ratio, so it is going to be positive in this case. Finally, sine, and we do this calculation here, and we get 56 degrees. Sine 124 degrees is equivalent to sine 56 degrees. So we're trying to come up with some answer that's in the first quadrant, and this one is it, sine 56 degrees. 
All right, cosine 234 degrees. You might like to try this one yourself. Pause it, try it, and then I'll do it. All right, so I'm drawing a unit circle. 234 degrees, starting from here all the way around to 234, which is about there. That's the angle. Now, I need to find the angle between the x-axis and the line, that one right there. How do I do it? That's going to be equivalent to um, 234 degrees minus this bit here, minus 180. So it's equal to cos 234 minus 180. Now, is it positive or negative? C, A, S, T. We're in the third quadrant. Only tan is positive in the third quadrant. So cosine in the third quadrant is going to be negative. And now we have negative cos 54 degrees. This is equivalent to a ratio of cos 54 in the first quadrant, but negative because we're in the third quadrant. This is the last one I'm going to do. You should try it yourself first. Sine 311 degrees. I'm going to draw in my unit circle. 311 is about here somewhere. I start from there. I go all the way around to 311. I wonder what this angle is between the positive x-axis and this, between the x-axis and this line. That's going to be equal to sine 360 minus 311. The whole circle minus this bit here. All right, that's going to be, uh, and is it going to be positive or negative? C, A, S, T. This is in the fourth quadrant. Only cosine's positive there. We're dealing with sine, so sine must be negative. Negative sine uh, for a 49. All right, and that is it. All right, so there are four examples of how to come up with an equivalent trig ratio in the first quadrant.